I'm Lee Brown. This is Crazy Shit in Real Estate. And today is actually not just for you in real estate. This is for anyone who owns or operates a small business or you know somebody who does. If you would like to put a little more money in your pocket through a wonderful tax benefit, I know that sounds terrible, but it's easy, it's available, and you might not have known about it. So Edwin Elam and Will Schaub are with me today to answer your questions and you're going to want to hang out all the way to the end of the conversation before you go to the show notes. And then you're going to save a lot of money. You're welcome. I'll see you on the other side. Hey there, Lee. Good morning, fellas. How are you? Good right, morning. All right. Well, thank you for coming on the show. And I'm excited to hear you guys share with my audience a little bit about some opportunities they may not be aware of. And so as we Kick it off. Why don't you both introduce yourselves and give my audience a little bit of color commentary on who you are and what you do. Well, hello to the audience. My name is Edwin Elam, and I am a licensed life insurance agent in the state of North Carolina and also licensed in several states. I live in North Carolina, Union County, and I'm also a uh, owner of a full service marketing firm that helps to solve solutions individuals, former chamber executive and uh, an ordained elder in my community and serve a lot with a lot of things in our community. We wanted to introduce and bring on today Lee, Lee uh, Whittle uh, Schaub, who is going to be our expert today on what it is that we're going to be discussing. So it was a great opportunity to bridge him into this conversation after you and I had a great conversation on the subject matter and let Will tell us a little bit about himself. Well, good morning, Lee. Thank you, everybody. My name is Will Schaub. Uh, I live in Pleasanton, California, about 25 miles east of Oakland, California. I am a health insurance licensed person. Uh, I've been doing this program for now. This is my eighth year. But uh, prior to this, I did some tax incentives for businesses all over the country. And then before that, I owned an AFLAC agency, a very successful one uh, for 17 years. So and we're just uh, glad to be here and uh, sharing information on a program that's extremely impactful to employers and employees that they just might not be aware of. Well, you know, I actually have a friend in Pleasanton. Jennifer Branchini was the president of the California Association of Realtors in 2023, and she lives in Pleasanton. And Fantastic. You should, you should say hello to her because as a broker of a large office of agents, mm -hmm. We have a, an interesting space that we're in in real estate where the agents in our firms are primarily 1099 independent contractors, but a large brokerage will also have employees that are doing transaction management and operations and marketing and all the ways that we support our agents. So it's, a, it's an interesting space. And on a side note, I really wish more real estate brokers would pay attention to AFLAC and similar programs because realtors need short-term disability insurance. They don't think about it until they break a leg while they're showing a house and suddenly these commission-based people are without income. So whole different conversation for a different time. But we're here today to talk about some opportunities that live in tax world. And as most of y'all know, the tax code is frankly designed to the point where you as an individual will never figure out all of the ways you can benefit because at 68,000 pages, if you don't have a professional, you're going to leave money on the table. And I don't ever want to let the government have any more of my money than they are absolutely going to take from me by force. And so this is why we're here today to hear about some ways that can be maximized for employers. And of course, my audience is primarily in the real estate space, but we always have some viewers and listeners from other entrepreneurial endeavors who will be interested in this information. So let's start off with the basics. What is the opportunity that you guys have spotted that is the one that's kind of off the radar for most people? Well, Lee, as you and I had a conversation, we were sharing with you how we are able to help individuals, employers to gain a benefit or savings to their bottom line on the tax side, as well as providing a host of services or a suite of services in the health space. And Will is our go-to guy who is an expert uh, VP with one of the uh, firms that is a provider and solutions portion of this. Will and I met through a mutual friend, a person that I've helped many, many years ago, and this particular individual right now. And they actually pulled me in, Lee, to uh, help get this uh, information out to our base. 
And so I thought it not robbery to have Will to come on with us this morning to just kind of take it away and give us the nuts and bolts of what's going on and how we're able to help people and how we want to direct those calls to us. Perfect. Well, Will, tell us about the program that got everyone's Go ahead, radar Will. up. Well, absolutely. Thanks so much for the opportunity to do so. So this is a program that was invented with the ACA. In 2013, on page 33,161, uh, yes, uh, very deep. It's about 33 times reading War and Peace, 33,161. So it is a program that allows employers with a minimum of two W-2s, 30 hours or more, to offer a preventative health care program that works in conjunction with someone's health insurance to prevent out-of-pocket costs for the employee, the employer, and the government and the, and the country. 70% of all emergency revisits in America are not actual real emergencies. And so when you use your insurance in, inappropriately, it drives cost up. My companies are actually encountering 18 to 25% increases in health insurance. And the neat part about this program is it doesn't replace any uh, health insurance or paid insurance or employer paid benefits they already have. It doesn't replace any professional that serves their business. This works perfectly in conjunction with it. And I, and I agree with you, Lee. It allows employers to pay less FICA tax savings in the tune of $639.96 a year in net tax savings at no cost to them, no out-of-pocket cost to the employer. And then in addition to that, it's going to offer AFLAC or colonial-style benefits, supplemental benefits like you spoke about, disability, cancer, hospital, vision, dental, life insurance, plans that no and normally employees would have to pay 100% out of their paycheck and qualify based on health. And we have we have the ability to remove both of those roadblocks so that em employees of companies, regardless of their income or their insurance, have the ability to protect themselves because like you stated before, you get hurt off the job or you get real sick and you can't work. You can't really use your health insurance card to go to the Target or the Piggly Wiggly or to pay your car note or your mortgage or your diapers, or utilities. But these supplemental plans can. And so this allows employees to get these benefits without a reduction in their take-home pay and without any health questions. So I have a small real estate brokerage. I have two W-2 employees. I don't have any benefits offered because I'm just not financially able to do so. Since Correct. I don't offer health care as a benefit, but I have two W-2s, am I qualified for this or is this only for employers that already offer a health care benefit? It's a brilliant question. Actually, we can help anybody that doesn't, whether they have insurance, don't have insurance. It's great. It's weak. Uh, you got high deductibles, low deductibles. You have zero insurance. Uh, we can help anybody that has two W-2s. You automatically already qualify. Uh, you just haven't enrolled yet. So that's pretty interesting. And for anybody out there that's thinking it's only 600 bucks, uh, hello, those dollars spend too. And one of the smartest things you do as an employer is find ways to reduce your cost, especially in an inflationary environment. So if I called you and said, I want to talk more about this, you said that my employees will have access to programs. How, how does that work? And what are the most popular supplementary programs people are signing up for? Well, uh, that's a great question. Um, so on the two W-2s, uh, they, they get access and you automatically qualify. And that's $639.96. If you don't do it, it's money you're already spending. So we're going to take it from an expense and we're going to put it back in your pocket. So even though that doesn't sound like a lot, it's money you're already spending. It's already earmarked for FICA tax savings. Same with the employees. We're going to save them federal, state, Social Security, Medicare taxes. Obviously, in states that don't have state taxes, we won't do that. But if we save it, they're already spending it. And now we're going to put it back in their pocket. And then they're allowed to use that money towards these valuable benefits that will make an impact. You asked about benefits that are popular. Well, here's what I can tell you is life insurance is probably one of the most important. I don't know if it's the most popular, but it's definitely the most important. And here's why. Usually cost is one of the barriers and we're going to remove that roadblock. The second barrier is health. If you've got a pre-existing condition, you might be declined and that becomes a futile effort right over and over. If you keep on trying, kind of like, you know, in the real estate market, if your credit score is super low, you know, you're not going to keep on trying to apply, right? You're going to try to fix that. So We've removed that roadblock. And uh, so, and we can insure the whole entire family, uh, insured spouse and children. 
children, it's important because some some children have pre-existing conditions. They might not be insurable in the future. Disability, you spoke about income protection. The problem with most states, there's only six states that have a state disability. 44 states have zero disability, which means unless your company can afford to pay for a disability plan for you, you've got no income protection. So let's just think about that, right? And especially in the commercial real estate world where construction, contractors, industries that are related, 70% of work comp claims actually happen on Mondays. And there's a reason. When an employee gets hurt off the job. They're hung they're over? Oh, oh, no, oh. Yeah, you would think so, right? <laughs> uh, we only wish that was the reason. 70% of work comp claims happen on Mondays, and here's why. When an employee gets hurt off the job, they've got regular bills that are tough to manage in today's America. And they're going to stack an extra set of bills, out-of-pocket costs, even if they have insurance or not. That's 100% on them. They're going to have to do it with zero or very little income coming in. So that's a mathematical computation. But if you've got a disability plan to protect your income, and then you have cash paying plans like accident or hospital insurance that pay above and beyond your health insurance, and you don't have to pay for it, you don't have to qualify based on health, well, then we just gave you a different resource. It's a different path to least resistance, right? On Mondays, or comp, if you have, it happens on the weekend and you don't have those resources, you're going to put it on there. Then let's talk about life insurance. If there's no resources on an employee, there's only two or three places they'll go. You firstly, you're the boss. It's an uncomfortable conversation, but I've talked to business owners for 23 years and uh, they end up having sometimes to foot, foot the bill or they will feel like you know they have to foot the bill. Or they're going to go to the church, the community, or GoFundMe. You just go on any social media platform and there's a GoFundMe today about something bad, whether it be cancer. So we've got critical illness with cancer plans, regardless of pre-existing conditions. You can consider the whole entire family. You've got cash paying plans, but also companies, because they're cash strapped and budget conscious, and because rates are going up, it's a push and pull kind of thing, right? I mean, you can't do everything while rates are still going up. So they'll actually cut vision and dental as a, an employer paid benefit. So we can do that as well. We can offer vision and dental. So it's neat. Employees are going to end up with some money back in their pocket that normally goes to taxes. And now they're going to set an earmarking for that. By the way, I agree with you. I'd rather pay less taxes unless it's absolutely necessary. Things like cost segregation, actually, in your commercial world is the same thing, right? You're entitled to the money. You just need to go get it. So if we can put the money back in their pocket and they get to shop off of a menu like they're in a restaurant with a gift card, how would you spend it down? Well, however you wish, however your family looks based on your insurance, but also your needs, maybe your pre-existing conditions or your past or whatever, you know, whatever your wants are and whatever your gaps are. So we can fill those. Is there a class that you took on the yes. internet that's been good for you? I want to hear all about yes. it. Yes. Okay. So I am in the progress of taking your how to dominate during your recession class. And oh my gosh, it's just absolutely the best. It's really helpful to understand and to know what it was like during the other recession um, and to how to, pr to proceed. Uh, but also at the same time, in the back of your mind, remembering that every recession is not the same. So you have to be prepared but you have to be flexible. So understanding, educating during this downtime in our market, educate, 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 getting on top of that um, and being prepared. So, you know, take as many classes as you can, get involved with your, um, with your association, just really, a, you know, diving in has been, I'm so excited to get it completed, but um, yeah, you, it's a great class. Highly, well, highly I'm glad that you're finding it helpful. And I love what you said, too, that every recession is different because whether the media wants to call it one or not, we know the economy is not feeling perfect right now. And when things go, <laughs> that's when we do more education for ourselves so we can give that education to our clients. And so thank you for those kind words. I can't wait to get the full review when you finish it. And by the way, friends, if you follow the link here, we might have a discount code to get you involved in that class as well. So you can join Mackenzie and get some education in your yoga pants in the evenings yeah. while you fly and start <laughs> the day. So thank you for that kind recommendation. I'm so glad you're enjoying the class. Yeah, you're welcome. I mean, I love that you mentioned life insurance because in the real estate space, my people are very optimistic and they're very forward thinking, which means they don't plan effectively for tomorrow because they just assume they'll be alive to sell one more house and they're not paying attention to what happens in the event of an accident. I mean, we, we started off this 
conversation this morning. It's the day that the container ship hit the bridge in Baltimore. And those people on that bridge sure. had no way to react. And it's a horrible mass tragedy. Well, the families that are at home are going to be picking up the pieces. And if those families don't have the financial capability to withstand it, it could be a generational tragedy on top of losing a loved one. And that's a horrible thing to think about. Nobody wants to think about really bad accidents. They don't want to think about death. Our whole society is built to pretend death isn't real, but you need life insurance. And as you guys know, the younger you are when you get involved in it, the less expensive it is. If you wait sure. until you're 75, you can get life insurance, but you're going to pay through the nose for it because you're much higher risk on those actuarial tables. So now when you talk about the programs and the benefits, it all sounds easy and great. What's the downside? What is the risk to me as an employer? What is the problem for my employees? What is the big red flag I don't know to look for? Well, I think part of it is perception. So in terms it comes to benefits, HR and payroll are going to want to know, you know when the rubber hits the road, what's in it uh, from them, not what's in it for them. So uh, we have a minimal lift. We've got amazing technology and we can enroll any employee in all 50 states at any time. And it's also based on the industry. So we work with a lot of trades, a lot of construction, contractors, roofing, landscaping, you know, janitorial, uh, but any company, it doesn't matter the industry. And we have a way to uh, make it so it's seamless, uh, very clean with their payroll. Their payroll company's already built for this. And we hope we install it and then we do white glove concierge service, not only with the client, but also with each employee. Because like you stated before, not everyone's going to want or need life insurance. And that's okay. They're just going to get a nice explanation. They'll be currently informed and they can make a proper decision, no or yes, based on the information. There's no effect in their paycheck anyway. It looks exactly the same whether they participate or not. Same with the owner or the company or nonprofit. They can do the exact same thing. They're either going to pay money towards taxes or take that relief and put it back in their pocket and then, you know, and then recycle or redirect re that money towards other things that are important. So, so you said nonprofits, nonprofits are eligible for this too. So sure. I Pub it's yes. here at Habitat for Humanity here locally. I can call my executive director, CEO and connect him to one and he can possibly offer this to our employees at Habitat too. Sure. As a matter of fact, it doesn't matter how great their insurance or isn't. This is going to work in conjunction and we don't replace what they've already got. So for-profit, non-profit, public and private sector. Well, and I know Bill Shelton's already watching this. So, hey, Bill, I'll be hooking you up with Edwin so you can look at this. <laughs> he watches all the time because he's a very brilliant CEO. All right. So as a, as a realtor, I also have a whole list of companies I work with, my roofers, my contractor, Correct. all of those people. This can benefit literally any industry, any company, as long as they have two W-2s. Yep, two W two thirty hours or more, and so um, your blue collar, gray collar. You know, I, I was very looking forward to this conversation because in the commercial real estate world, right, you got things that can help businesses like cost segregation, right? Uh, WATC, worker opportunity tax credits, employee retention credits. I would just look at this as, as a similar type of program, but it's going to impact more than just the owner or the the, the company. Now it's going to impact the employer, but it's also going to impact the employee. And then let's talk about retention and attraction of employees. I mean, the number one uh, biggest issue right now, I think, for employees is labor, is getting good people. So once you get them, because they're competing with others, but then also, I mean, how do you attract them? But then how do you retain them? And usually it's not about pay. It's actually about company culture and it's about company uh, benefits. Benefits, tough to do when you're cost restrictive. So we remove a lot of the roadblocks and then we make it a little bit easier for everyone and then everyone gets to pick and choose. And it's also not a cookie cutter approach. Whether you have five employees or 100 employees, you're offering a menu as if you're walking into a, a restaurant, let's say in North Carolina in Charlotte, right? A beautiful restaurant, you go in, someone gives you a, a gift card or, or money towards it. How would you spend it down? I mean, for me, it's probably a lot of appetizers, lots of dessert, maybe a bottle of champagne. So. so did you catch that, friends? I mean, even if you're not a broker owner, even if you don't own a company yourself, this information can be a give back to the companies that support your business. And you got to think about things in a way that makes it a gift from you to somebody else it has nothing to do with you. It's really just that connection that you're providing. But if you're providing a cost savings to somebody and an extra benefit to their employees, why wouldn't you make that connection in a world that's desperate for 
better ways to conduct business. Now, Edwin, you were going to say something when uh, Will and I kept talking. What were you going to pipe up with? No, I was just wanting to say, knowing families the way that I do, uh, this also benefits the uh, children in any family 26 years of age and below. I mean, that's really, really, really something. And they get to participate in the onboarding process for what the family might need. They, uh, The wife and the employee or the spouse and employee, along with those kids who have a, have a mind to think about business and what the needs of the families are. It's really exciting. And we're really excited about this particular product and also working with Will. I mean, he is just a great, great guy. And he's able to answer all those questions. We're talking with government. We're talking with nonprofits. We're talking with people in the health space even. So it's really exciting. I just wanted to share that with everybody. Well, I mean, it sounds to me like this is a no-brainer. It's just a program I didn't know about until you and I were talking about it, Edwin, and we felt like it was something that all of my viewers and listeners should have in the back of your head, especially as we are in tax time right now and you're thinking about these problems. So if anybody in my listening and viewing audience wants to get more information, get signed up, find out more details, what is the best way for them to reach out? I presume they go to you, Edwin, and then you dial yes. Will. And what is the pathway here for people? Well, you can give me a telephone call or you can text me at 704-475-6588. And I will talk with that employer and possibly find a great time for them on Will's schedule. Now, he's at specific time. So we kind of manage the calendar for getting him at premium time for the client. And it just works. It's really, really a great program, and we're really excited about it, Lee. Well, Lee, right. do you mind if I throw on one little thing about helping your uh, helping your companies? Things like cost seg, a lot of folks just don't know about, right? That's all it is, just awareness. And once you're currently aware, but it also helps your professionals be stickier. Because when you save them money, let's say they've got a 100-employee construction company or 200 employees, we're looking at 100 to $120,000 a year back in their pocket net at no cost, then you can redirect that money towards things that are important to you as a professional on help serving them. So just want you to know that we, we work with a lot of professionals where they'll bring it in kind of as a gift, but they can also recycle that gift towards what they want to uh, pivot into. So or as well, we said, all, all, reinvesting. Also, reinvesting. Uh, yes, correct. Let me share with you that this has been in existence for 10 years. So if you figure up $120,000 that Will just talked about. And people who don't know about this have already missed 10 years of that kind of profit coming back to their companies using the numbers that he just used. Okay, right. so thank you for making everybody throw up in their mouth a little bit, Edwin. So good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> so don't worry, friends. All of the contact information will be in the show notes for this episode. So if you were listening and you're trying to figure out how to get connected, but you didn't write down Edwin's phone number, don't worry. It's in the show notes. You can call or text anytime and we'll set up a good meeting for you. And I don't I don't make anything off of this. Full disclosure, this is a conversation that I had that I wanted to share. And Edwin and Will, I really appreciate you coming on the show to educate my audience about how they can put a little money back in their pockets. And at a time when everybody's paycheck is squeezed and when real estate is being attacked, it's always good to have people who are delighted to make my profession better. So thanks to both of you for bringing this home to the show. Oh, it was Thank a blessing you. to talk to you today and talking to all your audience members. Thank you, Lee, very much. God bless Great you. And friends, let us say know. something nice in the comments. And by the way, if you're from Memphis, you should know that is where Edwin was for a long time. So Regina Hubbard, I know you're watching this. <laughs> this I was telling you about. So make sure that you share this with a friend, share it with another business owner and grab those savings, friends. Meanwhile, hit the bell to subscribe. Catch some other videos and we'll see you next time. Cheers, everybody. All right. All right. God bless you. God Bye bless now. you. So if you found value in this episode, please like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on the bell and catch another amazing episode by clicking above. Crazy Shit in Real Estate is also available on all of your normal podcast apps. So if that's where you like to hang out, go find me, click subscribe. And most importantly, leave me a review that says you think I'm awesome, my guests are awesome, or this content is just exactly what you were looking for. And then by the way, if there's something you need, you want to learn about something, you can comment below anytime. You can also send me a direct message if you need to remain anonymous, no judgment. But anyway, I'll only judge if you forget to subscribe and click. I'll see you next time.